Katie Price is never one to hold back when it comes to promoting her brand. And now SHES passing on the tricks of the trade to her kids. Katie's kids Princess and Junior are set to become the faces of McDonald's Happy Meal. I can reveal that Junior and Princess, her children with Peter Andre, are in talks to become the faces of, wait for it, McDonald's. The youngsters are keeping it classy as ever after being offered a six-figure deal to represent the fast food giant's Happy Meals. A source revealed Katie has a made no secret that she wants Junior and Princess to follow in her footsteps and become TV stars. When McDonald's approached them, she and Peter thought it would be the perfect opportunity to get their names out there. Junior and Princess are said to have signed a six-figure deal with McDonald's. Katie has always expressed a desire for her kids to follow in her famous footsteps. They met the McDonald's marketing team, who immediately fell in love with the kids, who are already big fans of McDonald's. The team have been so impressed with them that they decided to make them a six-figure offer to work on the Happy Meal campaigns next year. They've been given a deal to front two campaigns, and they could do more in the future. The tacky move means that Princess and Junior follow in the footsteps of Ryan Giggs, Justin Timberlake and Ludacris as celebrity ambassadors for the fast food firm. Dad Peter has also been a face of the brand, having launched its Rolled Dahl Day in September, which allowed kids to swap Happy Meal toys for an exclusive series of books by the author. I have no doubt Princess and Junior will love being in the spotlight, as they have been the subject of several fly-on-the-wall TV shows over the years thanks to their famous parents. The kid's dad Peter Andre has fronted a campaign for McDonald's Katie Price under fire again after fans accused daughter Princess of wearing makeup in video and this year they made their debut as presenters on Loose Women's Summer installment, Loose Kids. Now they'll just need to practice munching on countless portions of chicken nuggets. Stormzy Gaysler's apology Stormzy has issued a groveling apology for dozens of homophobic tweets he posted as recently as 2014. The rapper says his now-deleted tweets, which featured the words FG and proper gay as insults, showed he was ignorant and insisted they expressed attitudes he has left behind. The Grime star has apologized for the homophobic tweets he posted when he was younger, he wrote I said some foul and offensive things at a time when I was young and proudly ignorant, very hurtful and discriminative views that I've unlearned as I've grown up and become a man. The comments I made were unacceptable and disgusting, stop. Comments that I regret and, to everyone I've offended, I am sorry. These are attitudes I've left in the past. The homophobic language I used was, embarrassingly, a part of my vocabulary when I was younger and ignorance made me feel comfortable to use them whilst not understanding the hate and the ramifications they carry. That isnt an excuse. I take responsibility for my mistakes and hope you can understand that my younger self doesn't reflect who I am today. Again I'm sorry to everyone I've offended. To the LGBTQT community and my supporters and friends, my deepest apologies. The Croydon-born, award-winning Grime MC, who has worked with Ed Sheeran and Little Mix among others, has spoken out about LGBTQ rights since hitting the big time. But in 2012, referring to a young performer on BBC show School for Stars, he tweeted put it on BBC One this little black boy is a thing FG. Bake Off's Paul Hollywood snubs estranged wife in TV show about his life The Apprentice star Andrew Brady denies swearing in front of a client The Crown shows mad adulterer Prince Philip cheating on Queen M.A. Celeb star Jack Maynard acts for begging fan 14 for photos Footballer Joey Barton turned down £500,000 deal to appear on M.A. Celeb sing HRV Why releases the video for new single I Won't Let You Down Everything You Need to Know About Business Powerhouse Karen Brady made in Chelsea's Sam Thompson admits I treated Amelia Lilly badly, I learned as a gay kid how damaging homophobic tweets like Jack Maynard's can be Towie's Gemma Collins begged to share a hotel with James A.R.G. Argent Paul Hollywood's wife lost all trust in marriage amid infidelity claims ex Gary star Chris Fountain hired for new TV series after rape rap video in November 2011, he commented on EastEnders gay couple Christian and Syed, tweeting Lil you see Syed run in to Christian's arm. Thing FG. The scandal comes after Jack Maynard was removed from ITV's IMA Celebrity, following revelations of racist and homophobic tweets.
It's deeply depressing to me that they ever felt such language was okay. Gwen is looking a treat. Gwen Stefan is leaving no doubt about what time of the year it is. The pop star would NT have looked out of place on the top of a Christmas tree in this silver fringed dress, white gloves and tiara. Gwen Stefani looked sensational in a sparkly number covered with jewels and her trademark red lip. Gwen wowed the crowd with her version of White Christmas. The singer is set to release a new album which features her new beau Blake Shelton, but Gwen also wore something practical as she pulled out all the festive stops to sing her rendition of White Christmas for a pre-recording of Department Store Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York on Tuesday. She was also promoting her album, You Make It Feel Like Christmas, which features her fella Blake Shelton. Christmas won't be casual at her house. James sings Naked Truth. James Arthur waited three years before returning with his incredible second album back from the edge last year. But the 2012 winner of the X Factor HASNT left it so long this time. James Arthur is set to release his new single Naked which was penned by Max Martin. He is already back with new single Naked, set to be released tomorrow, and it is the most vulnerable he has ever read. The emotional tune, penned with Swedish pop mastermind, Max Martin, sees James bearing his soul to a love interest. James says his new material will show his vulnerable side. He sings him right here, him trying to make it clear that getting half of you just ain't enough. I'm not gonna wait until you're done pretending you don't need anyone. I'm standing here, naked. James Arthur reveals plans to become an actor during this morning appearance. James has already been performing the personal on his nationwide tour, which hits Cardiff's Motorpoint Arena tonight and continues until the end of the month. If the rest of his third album is as good as Naked then I have no doubt it will be an even bigger success than his platinum selling second record, which topped the charts. Rita plans for the future Rita Ora has already put her eggs on ice to safeguard her baby-making future. Following failed romances with Calvin Harris, Ricky Hill, James Arthur and Rob Kardashian to name a few, the pop star is taking no chances. She said I have always wanted a big family and my doctor said, I think you should freeze your eggs when I was in my early 20s. Rita opened up about her family plans during an interview on Australia's Sunrise program. Rita Ora performs anywhere on The X Factor speaking on Aussie show Sunrise on Wednesday. The 26-year-old singer added, I know people might say, wow, that's so young. I just wanted to really be safe. Maybe that is me being crazy. Makes sense to me. Mabel's next move. Mabel is already thinking up her next hit after Finders Keepers made the top 10. Pop sensation Mabel says she wants to duet with Liam Payne. Mabel is the daughter of Nena Cherry. She is eyeing up a duet with Liam Payne and wants to make a big name. Lady Marmalada style collaboration. The 2001 track featured Christina Aguilera, Pink and Lil' Kim. She said I see Liam at the studio. We haven't worked together but I'd love to. And it would be sick to do her with loads of female Brit artists like Steph London, Georgia Smith and Ray. That would be incredible. Justice League has laid down the law at the top of the box office, taking £7.26 million in its opening weekend. The DC superhero's debut is the eighth biggest opening of 2017, behind the likes of Beauty and the Beast, Paddington 2 and Fast Furious 8. IT has been 13 years since The Incredibles first hit our screens, and Pixar has finally given us a glimpse of the super-powered Par family in the first teaser for the sequel. It has become the most animated film trailer ever, with more than 113 million views. Tom Hollander has signed up to star in the upcoming A Private War. He will join Rosamund Pike and Jamie Dornan in the biopic of the life of the late Sunday Times war reporter Marie Colvin, who d in Syria in 2012. They begin filming in Jordan this week. James Cameron has put the production delays of his four Avatar sequels down to underwater scenes proving tricky to film. But things finally got moving last week. He said, We've done a tremendous amount of testing, and filmed for the first time last Tuesday.